Hey guys, Harmony here, coming at you with a tutorial on how to upgrade the RAM on the Alienware Alpha um, version 1, which is a $550 version. Um, I don't know how this really goes for the other ones, but I wanted to upgrade my RAM for my computer. So the first 550 gigabyte version, it comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it turns out there's only one 4 gig stick instead of two 2 gig sticks. Um, so basically if you didn't know, RAM basically lets your computer, like, do more tasks at once. Um, um, yeah. That's pretty much what RAM really is. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to upgrade it today. Um, it's not that hard. The only thing you'll really need is a, uh, is a screwdriver. A Phillips head screwdriver. And, um, when you see, oh yeah. Shout out real quick to my dudes at Ballistics. I got those sticks of RAM. Uh, it's a 4 gig stick of RAM. It cost me about 60 smackaroons so what you want to do is to open up your handling more if you want to turn this big like console thingy over you want to just put your phillips head screwdriver in you want to twist i want to pause the video here i'm just showing you how to like get the one out and then i'll like see you guys again when i get all these screws out and then i'll open it up for you all right guys so when you unscrew those screws you should have them in a little pile right here i opened up the ram here as you can see you got these blue sticks. You got these four gigabytes of RAM. I'm really excited about this. If you didn't know, the Alienware Alpha takes 204 pin uh, RAM. And uh, as I usually said, I make videos because I watch these tutorials on how to open these, and they don't really tell you what kind of RAM the Alienware Alpha takes, but they take 204 pins. So I'm just letting you know. So when you unscrew the screws, all you really have to do is usually I would pause here, but this is already loose. You just pop this top open. It's really, it's really easy. Let me just get this open for you. And you just dump that right here and this is whole, this is your thing. So you just want to take these out. These are your fans. Uh, that one's not budging. You want to take this out and just like flip it over to the side. And take this one out. Okay, this one's not budging. This one's being a little, being a little douche bag. A tin. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's out. All right. So here's your RAM right here. Um, you just take your your stick of RAM. And I think you just put it in here. I don't. I have no idea. Um, but just touching by the looks of it, you just you just do this. I'm not trying to be really. I'm not trying to give you the best tutorials in the world. I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of expertise here. Let me just like pause the video, and then when I get it in, I'll sort of explain to you how to do it. Okay, I, I did it. It took me a while, but I did it. Um, you can tell by my voice, I'm a little pissed off because it took that long. Um, but I've, I've never really done this before, so yeah. Uh, basically what you want to do with your Wim Wham is you want to, uh, you want to basically put it in. You just want to jack it in. Um, when you get this, when you get it into these holes, it should be up top. Like it should be, it should be like this. It should be like up here, and then you just want to push that down. And these little pin things, which are really the big issue, um, is they'll like sort of lock down on it, so it's locked in like this. Oh yeah, it. Shout out to my dudes at a uh, Crucial. That's where you get it. You go on Crucial.com. It'll basically tell you um, if if this memory is compatible with your computer, how to do it, and everything. So it's really helpful. Uh, so yeah, check check them out if you're really looking to get some RAM. It's crucial.com. I'll have a link to it in the description. Um, when you're done with that whim wham, you just want to put your, your GPUs back in. Uh, it, they'll sort of just pop in. I mean, I sort of need to have two hands for this, actually. Yeah, I need to, I need a positive video to put these back in. But they're really easy to just pop back in. You just take two hands, you just like pop them back in really honestly but I, I need two hands so I'll pause the video and I'll be back to you guys. Okay I did it I put them back in. Um, Next thing you want to do which is like the last few steps you just want to put this cover back on to your alien alpha like 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 so just give me a min just give me a min guys want to push it down a little bit and then you just want to put your screws back in which you should have in a little pile right here and then when you screw them back in uh you just you're done and you just plug your computer back into those wires right there 
and then you're good. So that's how that's how you upgrade the RAM on the uh, Alien War Alpha. I apologize, it's my first time doing a really an upgrade, but I, I try to like I'm trying here. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know what I can do a little bit differently considering this is my first time upgrading the Alien War Alpha. I think next thing I'll probably do when it comes to the Alien War Alpha and uh, upgrading it is probably getting an SDD, which is a you can do some research on it for yourself, but an SDD is sort of like a hard drive that goes a little bit faster. I think a lot faster. But you guys can Google that for yourself, but I think that'll be the next upgrade I do. Okay, guys, thank you for, uh, for watching. Uh, see you next time.